Time now for French Connections on the program, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with Solange Mouja. Great to see you, Solange. Hi, Galena. You're starting out this week focusing on all sorts of games here in France, kicking off with board games. Yeah, in this Olympics year where there is so much buzz about les jeux or the games, I thought we'd dive into what other games are beloved in France. And the French on the whole, well, they are the joueurs or avid players. France is actually the number one market in Europe for board games, with 33 million of them sold in France in 2022, or 90,000 games sold every day. For since COVID, the sector has jumped by some 20%. There are even cafes and bars that uh, specialize in lending games between friends or en famille or with family. Playing is for many a very much loved ritual. Ça reste un bon moyen de passer du temps avec des gens qu'on apprécie en dehors des écrans. C'est fini. Et voilà, et papy a gagné. Je pense que si ça existe encore, c'est parce que mes petits-enfants, ils trouvent le même plaisir que mes enfants ont pu avoir. While American firms like Mattel and Hasbro uh, dominate the industry with games like Monopoly and Uno, France uh, touts over 150 card and board game makers, the biggest of which is Asmodee, uh, with its sale in 2021 of, for over 2.7 billion euros. It is a major industry player, thanks to card games like Jungle Speed, Dobble, and also the distribution rights of Pokemon cards. Now, so long, the trading of cards is a popular pastime uh, here in France, especially in schools, but there are other older games that people keep making a comeback. Yeah, like in other nations, during la récréation or recess, uh, playing catch, soccer, skipping rope, they are popular pastimes. As are hopscotch, la marelle, or marbles, les billes, with each year and in each school a favorite trend taking over the schoolyard. Ils pratiquent un jeu d'une grande subtilité, la tapette. Celui qui, a tout, qui les a toutes retournées, c'est lui qui remporte. Il y a des billes de chat, il y a des billes de boulet, il y a des billes calots, il y a plein de sortes de billes. Je cette boucle-là et je la repasse devant et j'ai le parachute. C'est des jeux qui appartiennent au patrimoine, nos grands-pères, nos grands-mères, nos arrière grands mères tout, toutes les générations ont joué. Si on n'y joue plus, on va perdre les règles. Still played in many school courtyards, the game of marbles was actually awarded France's intangible culture heritage label in 2012, and it, like other games, uh, teach children a lot more than meets the eye. Ça permet de, de respecter aussi les autres, d'accepter de, de perdre, de, de respecter la règle, quoi. Tout, tout, tout ce qui tourne autour du respect, et... Solange, let's talk about video games because study shows they're actually France's number one pastime. It is. Uh, France actually has a quite a robust uh, video game making industry with hundreds of video uh, making uh, 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 companies, including the giant Ubisoft, as well as major schools, tax incentives, and a long history of innovating uh, in the video game world. Now, as for uh, how the French feel about video games, well, the numbers on this are actually quite staggering. A cell study found that nearly 40 million people in France, or about 7 in 10 French people, play video games at least occasionally. Uh, most of the players are adults, but there are 5.7 million under the age of 17, and that can sometimes lead to some pretty tense moments with the kids at home. Les garçons, ça a sonné. C'est impossible. C'est pas mon problème de Donc je termine mon truc. Nathanelle, tu arrêtes. Mais il faut que je termine. Euh, arrête. Et voilà. Et après, j'ai droit à la tête parce que j'ai demandé à arrêter les tablettes. Et donc, je leur dis qu'ils sont addicts et ils me disent que non. Solange, let's talk about some other games, potentially some more addictive games like gambling. Are the French big bettors? Well, with over 25 million people uh, per year, the sector is growing quite steadily in France. It's an over 12 billion euro industry in the country, and around half of that money goes uh, to the FDJ, or the Française des Jeux, which is the operator of France's lottery and betting games. Now, the FDJ uh, was privatized in 2019, but the government remains a significant shareholder, bringing in some 50 million euros just in dividends in 2022, too, and that's just for uh, the state. And that's also in addition to some 6 billion euros in taxes. Now, to play, French people either go to casinos, they're often in seaside uh, towns, uh, or they bid on their phones, or they go to their buraliste or tabac, uh, or their tobacco shop, where they can buy things like scratch cards 
or if they're playing the horse races, well, many French people, they go to their local PMU. And this is our acronym du jour. It stands for Paris Mutuel Urbain. It's the body that controls horse racing in France, uh, as bookies were outlawed in France in 1891. But PMU is also shorthand here for the cafes where these gamblers play their luck sometimes on a daily basis. Ça fait 30 ans que je joue, je gagne jamais, mais ça fait rien, je continue. C'est pas un jeu. Pour moi, c'est un sport. Ben, je les suis. Voilà, et je suis ça depuis 1965. I had no idea what a PMU stood for, so thank you for that. I just <laughs> always welcome. thought of it as a place to get cheap beer. Uh, mm. Finally, uh, Solange, you're ending with a game that's part sports, part uh, way of life, and part of national heritage here in France, and one I'm bad at. Well, uh, I'm not very good at it either. <laughs> that's La Pétanque. The game of boule has been played across the country uh, for uh, over a century. But before that, ancient Egyptians, uh, Greek, the ancient Greeks, the, even the Gauls played boule. But the Provençal game of Pétanque actually dates back to 1907 when outside Marseille, a player with rheumatism or body aches uh, reworked the rules. And since then, everyday citizens and some pretty famous faces as well, well, they have been big fans. Bah, C'est venu à Provençal, il faut faire un rond, puis faire un pas sur le côté, rester un équilibre sur la jambe gauche, et envoyer une boule à peu près à 18 mètres. Et le plus près, évidemment, du but, ce qu'on appelle le but, le cochonnet. Ça ne paraît pas, mais c'est vraiment difficile, parce que c'est presque comme jouer au billard. Les vacances sans pétanque, c'est pas possible, ça. Enfin, moi, je ne le conçois pas. Tonio, pas par là, c'est ici qu'il faut jouer now, Pétanque did not win its bid to become an Olympic sport in Paris, but as it was passed up by the likes of skateboarding and, and, and breakdance. But uh, Pétanque uh, will remain, uh, it remains truly a French game, and it is also much loved around the world. Thank you very much for that, Solange. Solange Moujan there with French Connections, and you can check out other editions on our website, france24.com.